Travis Stevens here with directpivotparts.com. Today we're going to be going over our horizontal center drives we offer on our site. All of our center drives offer the multi-hole pattern on the back, which will allow them to fit on almost every pivot on the market or that used to be on the market. We offer uh, a square end on a lot of our center drives and a round end for placement fitting the certain tubes. Um, they all are, have plugs in them and they are pre-filled with oil. Um, what everybody needs to look at when they are buying a center drive is you need to look at the horsepower, your RPM, and your, and your gear ratio. Uh, that can be stamped on the gearbox or on the nameplate. If you guys can never find that, don't be afraid to take a picture of it, text it in, email it in, in to us. All the stators are replaceable. We offer every horsepower and every gear ratio that you could imagine by multiple brands. Today we're going to go over checking uh, to see if a center drive is good or bad, the stator of it. This is a pre-disassembled uh, center drive. We're going to be using this Klein Auto Meter, which automatically detects voltage or ohms just by touching it together, or it'll go to ohms. We have your three power wires going into it, and this, this one will test good. When you go to each one, right there it says 12.1, then we go to a different one, and it says 12.0, then we go to the other two, and it says 11.9. If they're all very close or within each other, that stator is good. Uh, if it has a, if they don't ohm out or have a different number, that means your stator is bad. The other thing you have to check is from your each line to ground, and none of these will beep because this is good. If you do have any of these beep to your ground wire, your stator has a dead short. It is bad. Uh, always inspect your seals for leaky oil. Um, Turn your shafts, make sure they turn freely, run your machine. You can usually hear any uh, growling or bad noises. If you do have to change a stator, I've taken this one partially apart already. You remove the four outside bolts, and this whole stator will pull off, and a new one will slide right back on. Uh, always make sure you're using a new connector going into the box. Make sure your wire nuts are always facing up so water cannot pool in them, and I don't think you'll have any issues with with these there is a thermal overload in here do not wire around that or go through it it's there for a reason if you guys have any questions or issues or even finding the correct product feel free to email us or give us a call